me know if you want anything. Sure, I guess. Huh? Next time, bring more money. Burger. Ah, broiled beef of the gods. I'm never eating fast food again. We got your dumb burger. Now, what do you know about Cuneo and Ricky? Boy, that hit the spot. Okay, you mentioned they were talking to someone creepy looking. No, we didn't, actually. How did you? Well, you know, word gets around. Anyway, my guess is they were talking to Yamada. Who's that? A kid from Reiho High School. Or he used to be, anyway. Before he started practicing the dark arts. That's not a thing. It's totally a thing. Yamada usually hangs out at the mall. Go see if he's there. Thanks. Let's get out of here, Misako. Good luck. And keep an eye out for your old pal, Godai. Maybe we can help each other out again. I'll be around. Hang on, that might not be necessary. Yeah, but it's fun. Your name's Hiroshi, right? You remembered me. I took your lunch money once. Yeah. <laughs> Water under the bridge. Anyway, the mall is supposed to be open, but that security guard, Pattinson, must be asleep at home again. How do we get inside? Just hang out here for a while. He'll eventually wake up and come to work. What? No, we need to get in there now. We have reasons, important ones. Hey, me too. The latest issue of Cosmic Mega Babes just got released. And if you think I'm gonna download the digital manga version, <laughs> you are sadly mistaken. I don't know what any of that means. Where's this guard live? North Ravine Lane, but I wouldn't recommend waking him. I, uh, I tried that once. Thanks, Hiroshi, we'll be right back. Oh! Ah! Oh!
What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? Happy rampaging! Come back soon! That must be his house! my house 
Get out of my house! Get out of my house! Get out of my house! Let's get back to the mall.
keys, see? Nice job. Now open these doors so we can start shopping. Squee! No. But... Kyoko, just a few stores. Remember, Ricky? <sighs> okay, let's go find that spooky Amada guy. Cosmic Mega Babes? Yeah, but they only had the standard edition cover. Ugh. I could barely bring myself to read it three times. We can't find Yamada. Anywhere else he might be? He also hangs around the construction site. But if you go there, be careful. Why? Because it's a construction site. Oh, yeah. Anyway, thanks and stuff. Anytime! I mean, like, literally, anytime. 
my life is pretty boring. No.
Construction site? Boy, you up there? My name's not Magic Boy. He's up there. Come on, let's go beat some info out of him. Seth, you ready to break a leg? Go beat up the world, dude.
Ladies, welcome to my lair. This is a rooftop. Yeah, not even a finished one. It, rooftops can be lairs. Whatever, we're looking for Kunio and Ricky. That big girl said you hang out with them, do ya? <laughs> As if. Those guys are losers. What did he say about my Ricky poo? Chill, Kyoko. I'll chill this guy's face! Relax. I haven't talked to him in years. I thought you guys were friends. We were. A long time ago. What's happening? <sighs> it's a flashback. No one cares, Yamada! We were just kids then. I was 10 years old when my family moved to River City. I hated them for moving. I hated having to leave my friends behind. I hated lots of things. I hate you guys! Is this gonna take long? I was sure I'd never make another friend. But as we unpacked, this boy across the street said hello. Hey. His name was Kunio, and he seemed nice. He is nice. Now where is he? Is Ricky in the story? Kunio and I became best friends. <laughs> We read comics together, watched TV, played intergalactic space rangers. Life was good. Aw, see, that's sweet. Only because Kunio's in it. Then one day, a girl transferred to our school. Her name was Hasabe, and she was an angel. It was the first and last time I ever fell in love. Hasabe, oh, I can't stand her. Yeah, she's sort of the worst. I ran to the park after school that day, excited to tell my best friend Kunio about the girl I would soon marry. Wait, aren't you like 10? Yeah, that's pretty weird, dude. But when I got to the park, Kunio was already there. And so was Hasabe. Oh, dang, that's hecka sad. Or Kunio, maybe. That trash girl never deserved him. That night, I decided I would get my revenge on Kunio, on Hasabe, on everyone. I turned to the dark arts to become stronger. That's creepy. I don't like scary things. Wrap it up, Merlin. Then later, in middle school. Okay, we get it. Jeez. I lost the love of my life and my best friend in the same day. But thanks to the dark arts, I would never again be. Okay, wait up. Love of your life? You barely met the girl. Did he even meet her? Wait, yeah, did you even meet her? Love needs no introduction. That's not how love works. Listen, freak show. I don't care about your childhood, your crush on trash queens, or any fakey magic tricks you learned. We're looking for Kunio. And Ricky. And Ricky. So either tell us who took him, or stop wasting our time. <laughs> you girls are all the same. We look nothing alike. Always insulting me. Always treating me like dirt. You look like dirt. You know, part of why I learned the dark arts was to meet girls. Looks like that's about to pay off. Ew. Ladies, welcome to my I lost the love of my life.
my sack. Stay down. Don't try any more of that magic crap on us. Yeah, because it's spooky. Seriously, I can't even watch horror movies. <laughs> Never thought I'd get beat up by a pair of girls. I could have guessed it. We won the battle, so tell us where our boyfriends are. I have no idea. Why does this keep happening? You really have no idea? We miss him pretty bad. Try Uptown. Sometimes I hang out there after school. How do you know that? I hang out on top of a building all day, remember? I see lots of things. That's weird. And sad, but whatever. See you later, creepy.